comes out at night, leaves a trail of destruction, loves shiny things. It's a troll! Run! Hi everyone, welcome to the Reading Den with Shen, and I am Shen. Today I'm going to read with you and your family a wonderful modern fairy tale called Three Little Vikings by Beth Ann Wolven. And now, before we continue, I want to give a special shout out today to Anthony from San Antonio, Texas. Wow! Deep in the forest, the Viking folk were celebrating their latest haul of treasure, all except best friends, Ebba, Helga, and Ren, who were playing when they heard a strange noise outside. Chieftain, Helga said, there's something scary outside. Nonsense, the chieftain replied. I know that it's just a thunderstorm, and I know best. Later that night, the three girls were tucked up in bed, reading spooky stories. They huddled together while the noisy rumbling and crashing continued outside. Strangely, the noise seemed to be speeding around the village. Storms don't move quickly like that, Wren whispered. Eventually, the crashing faded and the girls drifted off to sleep. Helga, Ebba, and Wren woke to the sound of the chieftain yelling. It looks like something very big was here, Helga said suspiciously. Nonsense, said the chieftain. I know it was just a fox, and all I know best. The girls played until dark. As they left for home, loud crashes erupted from the forest and trees, tumbled to the ground right before them. What was that? Helga said nervously. I'm not sure, but it looks like something angry, Wren said. Dashing back to the village, the girls wasted no time at all in finding the chieftain. A big, angry, noisy creature is roaming the forest, destroying the trees, Ebba told him. Nonsense, boomed the chieftain. I know the trees are just rotten, and I know best. It's really big, Ebba said louder. Stop bothering me. I must find out who is stealing from the village. It was probably the same creature who knocked down all the trees, Ebba said. Nonsense, the chieftain shouted. I know it was just some pesky ravens. And I know best. The chieftain said he knew best, but the girls hadn't seen a storm or a fox or a rotten tree or any thieving ravens. So they decided to investigate for themselves. I think we need to go back to the woods, Ebba said. Helga, Ebba, and Wren followed the footprints into the forest, but they led to nothing. So the little Vikings climbed a tree to get a better view. We must find something about the spooky creature in one of my books, Hebba said. What about this one, Wren said. Only comes out at night, leaves a trail of destruction, loves shiny things. It's a troll! Run! Safely back in the village, Helga, Ebba, and Wren wasted no time at all in finding the chieftain. There's a troll on the loose, they yelled. We saw him in the forest. Nonsense, he replied. I know trolls do not exist, and I know best. The girls knew they would have to defeat the troll themselves, and Ebba's spooky book collection seemed the best place to start. Helga, Ebba, and Wren waited until late at night to carry out their plan. They walked deep into the forest until they heard the familiar crashing and rumblings. Hey, you, shouted Wren, and Helga revealed the Viking gold. Sure enough, the troll couldn't resist the shiny treasure. The horrid troll growled and thrashed towards the girls until he saw even more gold. It was the chieftain. Help, troll, he shouted. The troll chased the chieftain right to the top of the hill and straight into the sunlight. As the golden rays fell on the troll, he magically turned to wood, his roots burrowing deep into the ground. Got him, cheered the little Vikings. That night, the chieftain and all the other Vikings listened carefully as the girls told the story of their triumphant defeat before an unusually large fire. We beat that troll, they cheered, because we know best. The end. 
me know in a comment what you thought of, of the story. Also, to visit the Reading Den with Shen and find out about other wonderful stories, please press the subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out with the Reading Den with Shen. I'll see you all soon again. Bye, everybody.